Yeah. The other one looming over our shoulders. Yeah, it's quite disconcerting. Very disconcerting. Well, they're not as disconcerting when, um, yeah, yesterday when I had, obviously, uh, you were stood behind speaking to the, the president of HMB, yeah. along with the head of communications for HMB. Oh, yeah, we, we had a meeting. Thinking, yeah, yeah. So the, the, the vice president, the president, the head of communications for HMB all stood behind me while I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm wondering if I say or do anything other than exactly what I'm meant to be doing right now. Yeah, there was no, we weren't trying to be, uh, sort of drop some hints by uh, having our meeting with an earshot. I can't hear you, I've got headphones on. But the loom was very obvious. But the loom was obvious, there we go. <laughs> so everyone in the live stream right now, I'd love to get your thoughts on this new 30 versus 30 category. Mm. Um, you know, I'm absolutely loving it. I think Gavin, you're absolutely loving it. Yep. But let us know what you think and how it compares to the other categories of 12 versus 12 and 5 versus 5. So it is going to be Serbia versus France. France, of course, a veteran team to fights of 21 and above size. One of my favorite teams uh, to fight against. I really hope we get to see another UK-France fight this year. Yep, the over overwhelming response in the live chat to that question of are you enjoying the 30 versus 30 seems to be a resounding yes. I've got to say we've had a really, really good uh, live stream chat uh, this year. I mean, last year was great and that was the first year that we actually uh, sort of involved the live chat with what uh, me and Gavin and the guest commentators uh, were doing. This year we've done it even more and the response from you guys has been absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for being such great supporters of Battle of the Nations and HMB. It is hugely appreciated. So, Serbia now up for their second fight against France. Who field their first team for the 30 versus 30. And uh, we've got some more benefits coming to the commentary booth here. Uh, the food we get served is slop, but uh, you know, at least we're getting treated to a seriously good massage right now, which is wonderful. Thank you so much, Nicky. I think you're really giving a misleading view of what it's like to be in the commentary box. That was misleading, wasn't it? Yeah, I see. For me, I've now got an image of me and you lying down some kind of weird Swedish massage table while looking no, over no, that's the your No, that's your mind doing somersaults, mate. Yeah, well, I mean, wishful thinking. <laughs> Okay. So uh, France also able to field a full team of French fighters. And again, a lot of success in the mass categories in the past. Uh, so of course that was that famous rival with the UK and France, whereby in Barcelona they took the bronze and last year was the other way round in the 21 versus 21. But it's a very friendly rivalry and you know, one we enjoy. And of course, there's that. There's the, the helmet still there, Callum, if you can see in the middle there. But uh, the the um, dilapidated oh, helmet. Really? Yeah, yeah look no. at it. Just in the middle with the uh, with the red avantel. Oh, with the right. red cloth. Excuse me. Oh my God. There it is. I mean, there's a couple of helmets here who look like they've really seen better days. But that that helmet in particular, frankly, needs to be taken out back and shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those helmets have taken a fair beating. There's, there's no way that fighter can continue to use that helmet after this tournament. No, no. I mean, you can't even repair it at that point. No, I mean, you can hammering it out would do nothing. No, nope. no, no. You just it, it's weak. Well, you, you, at this point. No, you, it, you'd it, pop a hole in it if yeah. you put a hammer to it.
Mind you, it's understandable that uh, the Hummers have taken such a beating as the French have been involved in so many fights. And uh, going really the distance, certainly the 12 versus 12. And at the back, we have the infamous French ninja. I don't think he's going to be able to resist this. He's just, no, he's going to if go for the he burst. is allowed to pop through the line the same way that Ukrainian was, uh, he'll, he'll take three fight. out. Yep, it will be an absolute disaster yeah. for the Serbians. I mean, realistically, the minute someone can get hold of him, I do not advocate the use of a suicide. I would suggest if you're a lower level fly fighter, just take him out. Yep. If you go down with him, doesn't matter. Yeah, he's one he needs to take out. Risk. Yep, that's right. And they really need to focus on him. Now, speaking with the HMBI president, Edouard M, uh, he pointed out that, in fact, it was the French ninja, Adrian, who really saved France when they were against Poland in 12 versus 12. And I can't say he's wrong. Yeah. Of course, it's, uh, we need more of a team effort and was, uh, could be a bit disappointed that everything comes down to just that one fighter. But my goodness, he certainly makes a difference. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you do have people, various fighters in certain teams who, who on their own can you know, really sort of shift the balance of a fight. Yeah. Here we go now with round one. You can see how far back uh, two Frenchmen are standing mm -hmm. there. Less Howard's another thought for the French, but you do have a two, two or three it does surprise seriously me, yeah. long ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. On that left flank in particular. That's right, right yeah, look at that. Look at that, that one. That long, yeah. I think we might see a slower start. Oh, the Serbian fighter gone down there. And of course, uh, another right. Frenchman has to collect another weapon. A lone Serbian trying to push through the French line quickly enveloped. Somehow stands up still but he's now against the French Ninja who takes him out. Yeah, there's a couple of Serbians that have been pulled back behind the French lines to be dealt yep. with. And that's a good tactic actually to pull and put the weight on top of the fighter. Of course you separate them from their own lines which gives an advantage. Yeah it's, it's a technique that was um, trained in for 21s and yep. it's completely applicable here as well. That's right yeah. And the French are using it so well that this is starting to look a bit one-sided. Yeah. Oh, smooth take down there from the French. Oh, no, I beg your pardon. That was the fight from uh, Akila Sequania. And France dominating this first round. They are spattering the French down as well, though. Oh, yeah, true. I think you've got a, there's a pile of bodies in the middle. There we are. And that's been round called. one. Clear victory to France. When you see it like that, when you see that mass of battle, it really looks fantastic. Of course it does. I mean, you know, one of the great things about this sport is that, you know, the medieval per period has been hugely romanticized in the image of, you know, the fighting knight. Yeah. And you know, where else in the world are you going to see today 30 knights take on 30 knights or tomorrow 150 take on 150? Oh, I just can't wait. However, we've got a lot to get through here. And... If this is uh, what we're going by, it's going to be great fun to watch. Some checks there from the marshals for French substitutions coming in, deciding whether or not that back neck plate is sufficient. Obviously, decided it was.
couple of questions there. How 150, 150 is going to fit into this list? Uh, it won't. They are constructing something else for the 150 versus 150. This has been constructed today for the 30 versus 30. Well, yeah, I mean, everything will be moved. Um, the exact plan, perhaps, uh, we'll be able to get a graphic before the event itself. Uh, so, tomorrow morning at some point of exactly how it will be planned out. Marshals continuing to do those very important safety checks. France now lining up, getting ready for the beginning of round two. Good to see that in the chat, even without William Dawes being present, the ever constant banana, Bohurt banana, is ever present. Uh, well, he'd actually post uh, an image. He is at work, as he's a chef, uh, but naturally had his iPad uh, with all the action. So uh, there are going to be some disappointed diners this evening, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, why is there this chain in my stew? <laughs> No, the special will be banana, but just just a banana. Yeah, yeah. No, no banana split, no banana no. mousse. No, 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 just banana. A banana holding a tiny sword. That's the exactly yes. we go so round two Serbia France and of course as Stans put the uh, the French line is not straighter than the Serbian and again you've got a the French fighters who are going quite far forward on the left there but they are well supported yeah, pushing the Serbians back very well again yeah, same oh, thing although both gone down, yeah. down with that Serbian who broke through yeah there are some other Serbians down though yeah that's true another one is caught yeah, there and there numbers. you have the president of HME Edouard M who's fighting in the 30s and he had his pole arm refused by authenticity the irony <laughs> The checks have uh, been. Uh, oh, uh, how would they did not see that downed fighter behind him? Yeah. Always a risk with these bigger categories, the sheer volume of bodies that end up on the very floor. Very much so. Very much so. I think France are having making this round very much theirs. Yeah. I think they're starting to own it. And there we are. It's round two to France. Very nice. Good work there from the French team. So the uh, emergency medics just going around to check the grounded fighters are okay. Yep, so far everyone's been absolutely fine. <coughs> In fact, I was mentioning before how it could be more dangerous uh, given the space and lack of access for the medics to get through but in fact it really hasn't been a problem there have been no injuries thus far 
couple of requests there saying they wish there was a women's 30 versus 30. Well, after this, there will be the women's all be all, which currently yeah. is looking to be about 25 versus 25. Uh, there may not be commentary for that fight, as we will be busy in the open studio. However, the uh, likelihood is it will still be on the stream. Uh, of course, if we can provide commentary for that, we will do so. But we do have some other engagements at that time. Still, we'll do what we can for you.